Here in the grounds of the Ag in Motion Farm Show 2025, I'm with Kent at the a AGI booth, and we're standing in front of a prototype smart auger. Kent, this is quite different from anything AGI has produced, and it's actually a prototype. Tell me about it. Yeah, yeah um, it's set back up in the early of 2025 here, partnered with a company out of Livermore, Calimer, or California, named by uh, Monarch. Um, so as you'll see in the deck, it says powered by Monarch. So anyways, work with them to take what we've done in agriculture and augers in the last number of years and try to get it to the next level where we're creating a smart auger, um, using a lot of their technologies and working with them to where we see the, the future of farming heading. So Monarch's an electric tractor uh, company yeah. basically, and, and you've brought the electric technology from Monarch. To, to this auger, right? Absolutely, so that's, Monarch is uh, readily available and being used in the, the, the vineyards down in California, some right. of the, the cattle industry for um, there. So, so it's essentially, kind of you think of an electric car, you've got that concept in an auger, so you've got full battery electric, yeah. so which makes it independent of any yeah. power source, right? How, uh, tell me about the, the drive then. Well, it's not just the, that's the whole thing. It's not just the electric the auger, right? If we are gonna put an electric battery in the, the figuration of it, we wanted to take it a step farther. So it's a smart auger. So okay. everything you think about that we have when we started to analyze what we needed to do is like, how do we get real life data as far as what the torques are being used? How do we monitor the safety features that we can incorporate? And ultimately when we got down to it and went, how do we take an operation for unloading a bin or unloading a truck from a two or three person job? How do I get it from one where someone doesn't have to leave their truck at minus 30, minus 40 weather? They get to just drive up and go there. So as we have a position at the show here, it's under a bin. Um, it would be able to, at that point, you'd run it right from your, your iPhone sitting in the cab of your truck. You start, stop, um, safety features that are built into it. You have a human detection field around the surface of it. So if it's running and someone gets in within that human detection field, it would shut down. So trying to make sure that we increase efficiency, make the, our job as far as farmers easier, but also making sure that we hit huge safety concerns there are within the farming industry and try to alleviate them as much as possible. Right, so it can be remoted up, uh, Remote, operated remotely, yeah. get that out, yeah. uh, through a, a smart device. Yeah. Or you can be standing here at the controls yeah. and you've all your controls in one spot so you can, the, the, yeah. the auger will move itself, you start or stop, yeah. you can fine tune it exactly. Yeah, so the controls of where you have, so everything within the controls is operational as far as um, at the screen or on the smartphone, we can adjust the height of, a, the, height of the hopper, the height of the intake. Um, it goes as far as even mapping out each farmyard. So if I have a bin that has a bottom hopper height of 28 inches or 29 inches, depending on where our cement pad is and whatever I've done for a gravel, I can actually set the auger so it'll never go any higher than that as I'm moving it. So it's built in safety features from that point. Um, you know, power lines, where do I map for a power line through the GPS of it? So it gets okay. in there and doesn't become, as I'm driving it around, it'll shut down when it becomes into those, those oh, factors, okay. right? So the whole thing is that it's not, say, autonomous as we see a Tesla or wherever they're going in the future of it, right. but it is a smart auger as far right. as that. So allowing key features to allow us to you know, keep everyone safe, make sure. So with the battery pack, what sort of uh, uh, operational time do I have with that? You know, right now it's in that concept prototype stage, but you're you're looking at about a four hour runtime under full full load. Part of it. Um, it does have an external power plug-in too. So if you knew yeah. that you were running on a larger scale farm and you knew you had to move more trucks than what that would take, you could actually plug it in if it's set up in a thing and trickle charge it and make right. that runtime go from a four hour runtime under full load to eight, 12 hours, depending lot, on what you do for right. amp. A lot of modern bin yards have electricity because they're running fans and, and all that, so 100%. power shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, right? uh, exactly. It's not only that, it's also, it's got a power bank board. So if you're at a modern bin, or you don't not at a modern bin, and we're down in Aneroids, Saskatchewan, where we might not have a power grid, we can plug it in and run a, a, a welder, something like that too, right? Oh, so okay. it, it gives you an extra access for everything. Right. So trying to, trying to find a way to make farming 
convenient and easy, right? So that we're doing, and that's the whole, ultimately that's what the goal is. So you're showing it as a prototype, a pre-production yeah. prototype, right yeah. now to get feedback. What's 100%. the feedback been? You know, the feedback's always why electric, but when you start talking about the smart features around it, the safety stuff, the um, the real-time knowledge we're going to get to, where you can tell me how much weight and how much product have actually moved into my truck at that given time. Those are the things that are exciting people. So originally there's always a hesitation, mm -hmm. but once we have this conversation like this, when we start going through it, the, the it's where we need to get to, right? So it's the first step in that innovation. On it. So do you anticipate this being a production model for next year? Our anticipation is that's where our goal is to have a production model for next year. But it, Ken, thanks for this. Yeah, thank you very much.